Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cher and I've been waiting for the Box of Charm December boxes to arrive and they are now here. So we are going to take a peek inside. If that interests you, make sure that you give me a big old like and subscribe and we are going to continue. Okay guys, we're going to hop right in. I have two boxes to unbox today. We have both the BoxyCharm Basic box as well as the BoxyCharm Lux box. So I will give you a little disclaimer that I am a BoxyCharm affiliate. I have been gifted these boxes. This is not a sponsored video, however. Now, I will put a little note in here. Sometimes people have a hard time with me being an affiliate for... Um, different companies. You know, I'm an influencer. I do get gifted a lot of products and I get comments sometimes about it and people think that I sound like an infomercial or um, that I'm biased. So <laughs> sorry about that. I guess you could turn the volume down and just watch the products and see what all is in inside and decide for yourself. I do like to give my opinions though and I do get excited because I am so excited to be a BoxyCharm affiliate. And the reason I chose them, I will say, I am biased towards BoxyCharm because I do feel like they are like the best um, box. Like you get, usually for the basic box, you get five full-size products and full-size guys. And a lot of times they are really good quality, high-end stuff, um, worth a lot of money for, I believe it's $27.99 for the base box. And so you'll save so much. So I, I like to put the prices on here so you can see what you're saving. So yes, I am biased. And yes, I do get very excited when my BoxyCharm comes. I've been waiting for December and it's here and I'm so excited to share it with you. So, so with having said that, we're going to move on and we're going to dig in. So, um, I will put the links down below also, if you're interested. Um, yes, I do get a kickback if you sign up under my subscriptions, but again, I chose BoxyCharm for a reason. I love them and I am unashamed about promoting for them guys. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go through the basic box first. Um, here is a little card that comes with it. So it gives you a description of all the goodies, what they are and how much they are normally worth retail price. So the theme this month is tis the season, of course. And it says for being extra. And I like that. I am extra at times. So... That's our theme. Um, woo, woo, there's some good products in here, you guys. So the first one, try to get this out of the box. This I've been wanting to check out Dominique for quite some time. Dominique Cosmetics. So I'm so excited about this. And ooh, so beautiful. Look at that. Definitely gorgeous holiday makeup. I'm loving that shimmer right off the bat. Look at that shimmer. It's blinding. If you've been around my channel, you know I am a shimmer girl. So I love that. And I love like the cranberry shade and everything. Oh, just gorgeous, guys. I am excited about this. And in the little mirror, it says, love the moments. You'll cherish the memories. Very nice for holiday season. Beautiful. That's beautiful. So normally this is a retail of $28. And you'll notice you always with um, Boxy, you'll always get some kind of palette. Then it also comes with, okay, this is like an eye, um, eye brush set. So a three piece eye brush set. Lurace. Am I saying that right? Lurace. 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 Yeah, hopefully I'm saying that right. Oh, which is so exciting because, okay, I'm going to get it out of the um, packaging here. Three eyeshadow brushes. I love, can you see this design on there? Look at that. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? The grooves, like you can hold it. It just feels very sturdy, very different from your normal, like plasticky. So you've got like a blending brush in here, um, kind of a shader looks like. And kind of that like outer corner. I love these. They're like smudging. So, oh, can't wait to try those out. They look nice though. I love the grooves in them. Okay, and then this is exciting too. Holy moly. This is some uh, good stuff. Um, Hold on. I got the suspense going. I know. Okay. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Murad. Murad. Woohoo. Oh, I'm very excited about that. Retinol Youth uh, Renewal Eye Serum. <sighs> I have wanted to try them for sure, for sure. Oh my, I'm just gonna kinda see what I think. What do we think? Oh, 
yes. Oh, that's so smooth. It's very lightweight, soothing. Oh, you can probably hear my kittens playing in the background. I've always got cats make appearances, guys, in every video. Murad is pricey. It is, um, it is priced at $89 retail. So that's what's so exciting. And I'm telling you, like I said, high-end items in here, major quality items. Okay, next we have, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Real Her Blurring Veil. Um, so I'm going to assume that this is setting powder. Let me get this out. Let me read about it. Um, features ultra, ultra finely milled powders, which melt into the skin to set your makeup in place or to control excess oils. So Leia, like a um, setting powder, it's completely flashback and talc free to give any look for some serious staying power. Great. I'm always looking for flashback free. Um, and that's the thing is I'm always nervous about trying new setting powders because I don't know if they're safe for like my kit or not to put on clients um, because, of, you know, flashbacks like the first thing I think about. So anyway, that looks fabulous. I don't know this brand. So um, happy to try that out. Always need setting powders in my kit, especially. And then the last thing we have here is, oh, I'm, so I've used this brand before. I'm not sure if I'm ever pronounced right, though. Persimmon and Plump, and we have a glass finish lip glaze. I will swatch it for you. Kind of a peachy goldy. You see that? That looks nice. I have a couple of things by them. I really like their, they have like a primer. It's like an illuminating primer, and I really like that when I actually keep it in my kit. So I am excited to try this one as well. So I'm going to add everything up for you from this box. This is the basic and we're going to see what it comes to retail price and what you will save with if you had a subscription box. Actually, I'll just go ahead and read it all off to you. So the Dominique Cosmetics is retail of $28. The Murad is, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, if I say it Murad or Murad. I know the brand, I just never know if I say it right. <laughs> um, so Murad is $89 for the eye, eye serum. Um, the eye brush set from La Russe Beauty is $38 retail. Um, the setting powder is $25 retail. And then the um, lip glaze is $24 retail. So if we add all of that up, it comes to $204 retail price. And that's usually around the range that the BoxyCharm base box is. And so big savings because the subscription box is... $27.99 a month. So you're getting $204 worth of retail value for $27.99. So fabulous. I love it. So you usually do get the five items and it's usually a great mix of makeup and skincare. Like it's not usually really skincare heavy, which is one of the things I love about it too. It's usually a lot more makeup. So I love that, but I still like getting um, skincare. I just would prefer maybe like one thing of skincare. And that's kind of usually about the ratio that I've noticed. So, so that is the base box. We're going to move on to the Lux box. There are so many things in the Lux box, you guys. Woo! So we're going to go through the items. This is our little description. Look at that with the little jewels on it for Lux. I'm going to get you all the information on the Lux box. I can't remember what the prices were on this, but the last one, there was like seven or eight items. I think this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And so we'll calculate how much it all adds up to um, and get you the savings and comparison on that at the end too. So, um, but first let's just walk through one by one and see what products are in here. So I'm gonna actually go down in the same order of the list that they have on the sheet. So the first one we have Herbivore Botanicals Cloud Jelly Serum which, oh my gosh, I love, I love this packaging. Um, so this is a serum, hyaluronic acid serum. Oh, it's hyaluronic acid alternative serum. So I'll read to you what it's, the description. It says that it helps dry the hydrated skin bounce back. It's Tremella mushroom, a hyaluronic acid alternative and vegan collagen. So it's like a vegan um, product. So that's great. I love vegan, cruelty-free is a must for me. And so that is a big plus, but I really just love the packaging on that. 
has one of these little droppers. Very pretty. And the next thing on the list, oh, woohoo! I love me some ABH. If you've been around my channel, you know I like some ABH. So we have it, Anastasia Beverly Hills Face Palette. So, ooh, pretty. Okay, so this is going to be like contour. Yes, gorgeous very pretty we've got contour highlight and blush i like that the blush is very muted it's kind of a um kind of a there is the the color going on there you go yeah i'll swatch them for you here is the highlight Ooh, pretty and here is the contour or bronze. Is that contour or bronze? I'm assuming it's bronze. Yeah. Bronzer. Isn't that gorgeous though? I love, love, I always love the packaging of Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's one of my favorites about it too. This is actually called the Italian Summer Face Palette. So that you have a name for it. I don't think they called it that in the, in the packaging part here. All right. The next one we have is Mali Beauty says best dress lip neutrals and bold 14 matte and shimmer eyeshadows oh yeah oh yes i did see this one okay oh pretty that is pretty i don't know this one either honestly beautiful um lots of like kind of pastels but you can make some like pretty subtle holiday colors with those greens in there um but yeah very like pastels a lot of shimmers there, which y'all know I love me some shimmers, so. And that is a big palette. That is, that's big. But you get a lot of this, you get more and bigger with the Lux palette, so. Okay, next on the list, we have Keys Soul Care. So this is a Harmony mask. It's a charcoal face mask. Um, and it's scented with soothing sandalwood and formulated with Manuka honey and gold foil. Those are like they call my name. I love, like, I love essential oils in products. I, I know some people don't always. Okay, and that gives you an idea of, like, the texture there. And if you don't know much about charcoal masks, they are great for pulling out, in, like, impurities and everything in the skin. They're great if you have acne, just really cleaning up the skin. So, um, I don't use them a lot because um, I have dry skin, so it's not as conducive for me but every now and then if I have a breakout I first thing I pull out is my charcoal mask for like pimple like especially har hormonal outbreaks or if I've been eating too much sugar and I have a little breakout I'll pull that charcoal mask out so I'm excited about that one too but I'm especially excited because I have not done anything in the Keys brand um, and I've been wanting to check anything out by her so I am super excited about that Next is this Euphoria Bio Blush. B O B Y O Blush. Ha! Ah, wow, guys. Okay, that is so intriguing because it says that it is a, a color changing blush oil. I've never heard of such. And probably rightfully so because it says it's first of its kind. So it's like no makeup, makeup, universally flattering blush that reacts to your skin's natural pH to instantly give you the perfect shade of natural flush. So of course I gotta try this out. I know I said I wasn't gonna swipe or put like makeup on, but does it just, did you just put it right on your face? I mean, I already have on blush, not like a subtle blush, but I still wanna see what it's gonna do. Do you blend it in? I guess it would help if I read the instructions. <laughs> That wouldn't it? But we'll just assume that this is what we're doing. It's giving me kind of a, pe a pinky glow. I guess this is what my pH is telling it to do. Yeah. Well, when you blend it in, it looks fabulous. That is so cool. I love that. So Youthphoria. I've never heard of it either. Okay. But next, I've definitely heard of some Fenty Beauty. So we've got Stunna Lip Paint is the name of it. Cool. Stunna Lip Paint Long Wear Fluid Lip Color. A weightless long wear liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish. Born in a range of head turning shades that look incredible on all skin tones. Woo hoo! Here, we'll just, we'll swatch it. Now, this one has kind of like a doe foot applicator. Interesting, huh? Okay. Here it is. Woo! That is 
going to be amazing holiday color red. Oh my gosh, that is an amazing red. Wow. Okay, and then we have Dear Midnight Set to Last Setting Spray. I love that we get setting sprays a lot in these boxes. I always need them. I go through them so fast. I don't know this brand either, Dear Midnight. So this is lightweight, alcohol-free, and hydrating. The setting spray locks in your makeup look, ensuring you're set to last through your day. Very good. I'll see. Um, here is how it looks. Mm, has a little bit of a, I like the smell, almost like a perfumey smell. Very cool though. I like that. So is this, um, I'm trying to, what did we read about it? Hydrating. It's hydrating, so I'm going to assume it's maybe not as matte, that it's more of a luminous setting spray, since it says hydrating, which is good. I like to have a mix of like the matte ones versus the hydrating ones, so awesome. I'm going to give it a shot with my makeup and see how well it does. And then the very last thing is Dew of the Gods Weekend Glow Challenge. So this is, it's a mask, I think, so a sheet mask. Should I open it up and show you guys? I don't know if it's like gonna ruin the hydration in there though if I open it. You know how some of those, it looks like it might, maybe has masks inside. So I'll open it and see what is on the inside of it without ruining it. Ugh, these nails, y'all. I am not used to wearing nails. I'm trying to give it a shot because it looks prettier and my nails were so janky. Oh good, it does have, so it has two separate masks. Awesome. It's a Squalane, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Squalane and citrus extract. And then this one is deep retinol and orchid extract. So you'll get um, sheet masks. They're usually so wet and dewy with these things that, you know, I don't want to open it right now and have it wet everywhere. So that is it. That's everything in the Luxe box. I'm going to read you off what each one was um, worth and then... I will add them all up and let you know the total price on this Lux box and what you're saving with it also. So the Herbivore Cloud Jelly Serum is $48 retail. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Face Palette was $58 retail. Mally Beauty, um, that palette, that eyeshadow palette was $45 retail. The Keys um, Charcoal Mask, $30 retail. Euphoria Blush, that color changing one, was $36 retail. The Fenty Beauty Lip Fenty Beauty Lip Paint is $26 retail. And the setting spray, the Dear Midnight setting spray is $30 retail. And the Dew of the Gods sheet masks were $40 retail. So let me add all of this up. So the total price comes to $313 for the entire box. And so um, I looked it up to remind myself on the prices for the Lux box. So I do want to give you the note that Lux is different from premium. So, so Boxy has three different options. They have the base box, the premium box, and the Lux box. So this Lux box is more of a quarterly thing. It comes every three months. So this is the winter Lux box and it is worth $57.99 for the subscription. And so you're getting eight full-size products you see how much you get. It's amazing. And so that's actually just once a quarter. So that's a really nice little um, quarterly surprise there. So just wanted to kind of give you that. So you're getting $313 on average. It's usually around like $395 values on average with their boxes. So this one was an, it was a total of worth $313 retail for the price of $57.99. So just wanted to kind of give you that breakdown. So that wraps everything up. What did you guys think? Once again, I'm super happy. This is my third month with Boxy. And that wraps it up. What did you guys think? I was especially excited to get the Dominique in the base box and also especially excited to get the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm always excited about that in the Lux. Oh my gosh, I was so excited about that. Fenty Beauty. Um, the palette is gorgeous in so many shades. That's beautiful and I can't wait to test it out. And also that blush is really intriguing. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about the Murad. I mean, y'all. <laughs> and the eyeshadow brushes because I always need eyeshadow brushes. They're quality and really good. And the setting spray. Okay, I love it all. <laughs> I love it all. But just noting off the top of my head, probably my number one was the Dominique. Because I've been wanting to grab some Dominique. 
I was really excited about the Keys skincare too, because I've been wanting to try that as well, and the Murad. <sighs> so many goodies that I've been wanting to try. So I was really happy once again with this box. I know I seem excited every month. I have not been disappointed yet. So like I said, third month of this and equally as excited because I've been really happy with it. That wraps it up. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you're interested in these unboxings. Check out, I do have a playlist on all my other unboxings um, that I've started and I'm adding this one to it. So you can check out some other unboxing videos. I will also throw one on the end screen here so you can move on to that next video and I will catch you in the next one.